Hi guys, I was uh, going through my junk box looking for inspiration for something to uh, measure the gas flow uh, out of the, uh, the little cell that I've built. And I found this and I thought this, is, this could be really useful. Um, this is a, uh, a 10 milliliter uh, syringe and uh, this came with one of these kits that you use to refill your printer cartridge. Um, and um, what I thought was I could uh, use this um, in some sort of uh, device whereby uh, I've got the, the body of the syringe here uh, with its graduations and it's, it's nice to have it graduated. Um, uh, I'd have some uh, sort of uh, tube that feeds into this to uh, deliver the gas and create the bubbles. Um, so uh, I'll block off the top and then as it fills up so it displaces it. But it, it occurs to me that there's a, you know, obviously uh, th oh, this is uh, underwater so that has to be in some sort of chamber. As I say, uh, I've, I've seen on YouTube uh, people do tend to uh, struggle a little bit with this sort of thing because uh, you've, you've got to keep on taking this out and emptying it. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have a little valve uh, that closes down on there. I'll put that as a point and then I'll uh, um, uh, have some sort of uh, handle um, and uh, I'll have uh, uh, a, a device connected to this and then um, I'll use a, a spring uh, that will force that down so that'll drive the plunger down um, and then I can open that open the valve and the gas escapes I've, um, I've put the syringe under water and um, let my finger off and the uh, the air escapes very very quickly it's only a tiny hole um, but I can see uh, that has been a useful device so this is only uh, a 10 milliliter um, syringe I've been down to the local chemist to see if I could get a hundred mil syringe and I I couldn't get one I couldn't get any graduated containers at all uh, locally and uh, when I spoke to the chemist and told him what I was doing and I wanted some clear containers he, he gave me these a uh, uh, they don't have clear medicine containers anymore it seems as um, uh, they all need protecting from uh, the light but um, I went into a sweet shop um, I got nothing at the hardware store either so in the end I went to a sweet shop and got this and uh, this uh, held some bubble gum or something and uh, I actually said to the guy, you know, I want the container, but I don't want the bubble gum. Can't open it now. Um, and that could be useful because I I could cut the bottom off, and I've got a nice flat surface there that I could make some sort of valve. So I'm going to use one of uh, these devices. Um, uh, I like this because it's graduated, but I'm going to use one of these as a, a test uh, device. So. I'm scratching around for materials now, um, but uh, this is an old uh, chopping board which um, uh, I shall cut up. Um, and we change chopping board fairly regular, and I tend to keep the old one as a as a source of um, uh, plastic. And uh, then I've got some uh, a little bit of this um, uh, sort of plexiglass um, that I'm going to use. I've uh, got some 55 mil long bolts, so I think uh, what I'll do is I'll make uh, my chamber. Um, I'll have uh, the uh, material which I shall cut out of the, uh, the chopping board. Um, that's some bottom on there, and then uh, the clear plastic either side. So looking at it from the side, it'll look like that, um, with the clear plastic either side, and then I shall I shall make it so as I can use these bolts. 
This is something I find extremely useful. I've got three or four vices of different sizes and uh, they're each mounted on a piece of 6x2 and, uh, and I use a proper G clamp to uh, hold that to the workbench and, and the workbench is uh, constructed from 6x2 uh, planks laid side by side and bolted together so it gives me a, a very solid platform but I can take it away and clear the bench and uh, I can also take these vices outside and um, I'll often uh, use them on the uh, clamp onto that uh, the uh, the edge of the deck in there if I've got something very long or so I can have two or three vices anyway I've uh, I've marked this up and I'm just going to cut it and uh, I shall use a wood saw for that so that's the uh, strip of plastic I guess it's polypropylene and uh, I've got um, uh, the lines here, the grooves where the saw has cut it, so I'm going to plane that off. You can see where the saw has, uh, has left a groove there. Uh. So that's my uh, jack plane, hope I'm getting that in shot, and uh, I'm going to plane this off. I've uh, done both sides of this now. Uh, that was uh, an old chopping board, uh, but now it's uh, given me uh, a nice long strip of uh, uh, plastic. Um, very useful on uh, aerial projects, uh, I've found uh, this to be. Because I'm setting out to make a, a chamber, um, uh, so it'll have a, a, a plastic, a clear plastic back and front, um, and uh, I was going to construct it like the um, uh, the cell, but what I've decided to do is take this material and see if I can't just bend it into uh, a U shape, uh, and then put the clear plastic black uh, at the back and front of it. Okay, that's the U shape. So uh, I'll have uh, that. So that'll be uh, that material we used uh, on the back and the front. Um, as I've bent this, uh, by the way I, I just put this in boiling water for a bit, uh, left it for a couple of minutes and then formed it, but it's important to put it in cold water afterwards just to take the temper out of it. Um, on the inner radius it's, uh, it's bulged out so I'll just plane that off and uh, then uh, look about mounting it up. Okay, I've uh, got the chamber constructed now. So uh, these bolts are a bit industrial, but uh, they're, uh, they're what I've got, but I wouldn't sort of normally use that size. I've uh, mounted the syringe on uh, this uh, bit of perspex, and uh, I wanted the tube to feed it, and I've found this in my junk box. Uh, this is uh, a capillary tube, that's probably off a fridge, it could be off some uh, pressure instrument I've taken apart in the past but that'll be useful. I've uh, mounted up the syringe so um, I've, I've glued it onto this uh, piece of uh, perspex and I've got that bit of copper pipe on there and going into the bottom and um, looking at this um, that's uh, just a, a little bit of um, a uh, bit of brazing rod actually with um, uh, a point on the end to go into the nozzle um, and I haven't tried it, I haven't checked to see that uh, this is waterproof uh, so I'm going to do that now and we'll see what happens, so I haven't tried it at all so you're seeing it um, as is I can't imagine it leaking, but uh, uh, one, one never knows. So the idea is that oh, I've got too much water. Let me tip some of that out. Okay, so that's the water. So remember, what I'm setting out to do with this uh, little cell is just capture the gas, and um, uh, and and 
measure um, how many uh, millilitres per minute or per second um, and uh, th that gas will escape I'm not bothered about capturing the gas but hmm, that's um, I, I haven't tried this yet so uh, what I've done now is uh, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow into the end of the tube So uh, and now to reset the instrument, right I've got the camera on its side so um, I'm just going to blow into the uh, tube uh, so that would allow me to measure off uh, the air and then to reset the, the the chamber, blow into it again. Okay, so I think that uh, um, you know, I, I think I've achieved what I set out to achieve. I'm not sure. I, I've used the um, ten mil, ten milliliter syringe. I think that'll be okay. Cause, but as yet, I'm not really sure how much gas I'm going to produce. But just from the very, very first test. Uh, that was in the first video. I don't think I'm going to be producing more than I'm going to be able to cope with here. So here we go again. So I, th I, uh, I think that's okay. But remember that this video really is just about how I've gone about making this little device uh, for measuring the gas flow. Um, uh, unlike everybody else on, <laughs> on YouTube, I'm not interested in producing huge volumes of gas and not knowing uh, anything about it. I want to learn something about uh, how many watts are being put into a, a, a cell to produce a given number of uh, litres per minute of HHO and then I want to be able to vary what goes on in here and how it's powered. So uh, this is just um, a means to an end, it's a tiny little cell, I'm not interested in producing lots of gas but producing gas efficiently and this is uh, uh, this is not a, a setup to do that yet. This is uh, I, I just couldn't wait to uh, to try that. So uh, I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.